Meditation. First of all, when you want to meditate, find a nice quiet place. Once you've found a nice quiet place, find a good seat. Some people like to sit with their legs crossed in lotus. Some people like to sit in Cesar. I find a nice kitchen chair is absolutely perfect. You want your hips, if possible, to be slightly higher than your knees. Make sure your back is straight, neck is straight, head is straight, that your eyes become slightly unfocused. Put the tongue to the top palate. Don't push, you want that nice magnetic touch. Pull the PC muscle, the pubic coccygenus muscle, so it just gives that little tug and pulls the tailbone under. Soften, soften around the eyes, soften around the nose, the throat, down through the chest and the lungs, the heart, the diaphragm, down through the psoas muscles in the waist. Feel it go right the way down through the femoral triangle in the legs, down in the calves, and if you've got your feet on the floor, you get that lovely little, tiny little spiral in the feet on the floor. Breathe in. You want to breathe from your stomach. So when you breathe in, fill your stomach with air. And what you find is once you've done that, wait to breathe out so that your body will tell you when to breathe out. And the point is, when you get to that point where you would have to stop yourself from breathing out, that's the correct point. Let the air come out. Let it come out like air out of a car tire. When you breathe out, same when you go to breathe in, wait. So you would have to stop yourself from breathing in so you've found your natural breathing rhythm. So you've got your spine straight, good posture, nice quiet place, you're breathing nice and deep. This brings more oxygen into the blood, this brings more oxygen to the brain, so your mind now becomes more aware and more alert. Now what you want to do is to focus it. One of the best ways of doing that is to focus it on your breath. So if you follow your breath from the tip of your nose down to your stomach and all the way back up and out again. And of course what you'll find is your mind wanders. And you don't see your mind wander, do you? So you can't stop it. So it will naturally just wander. When you realise it's wandered, then what you do is bring it back. Bring it back to the job in hand. But the point is you have to bring it back dispassionately. Because if you get annoyed with yourself, if you get upset, it just won't work and that's what happens to most people yeah they, they get upset because they start to try and med meditate and they're following their breath and then all of a sudden they start thinking about what they're gonna have for dinner or where they're going or whatever and the mind just wanders away and then when they realize it's gone then they get upset actually just dispassionately bring it back okay so then you've got good posture good breathing mental awareness mental focus and this will just happen over a period of time when you've done that then you find your subject that you want to meditate on life death the universe whatever because you've now opened your wisdom mind you're able to hold and sustain concentration you reach a state of what they call absorption which is where you and whatever you focused your mind on become one that's when you know you're ready to actually seriously meditate and open up all that wisdom that's locked inside yourself. Hope this works for you.